four o'clock on, his gaze kept shifting to the clock on the wall. He worked in silence, lips pressed into a hard line. It was a quarter to five. His eyes staring at the bit as it gnawed away the wood and sent flowery dust filtering down to the floor. In another hour, they'd be at the house again, as soon as the light was gone. He still heard them outside. Murmuring, walking about in their cries, snarling and fighting among themselves. And they were all there for the same.